Hello fellow human, it's me. I thought it would be a great idea to start a tutorial series on how to make a gorilla tag mod menu slash gorilla tag modding in general. You see, this gorilla tag thing is really popping off right now so it might be a great opportunity to capitalize on this trend. This tutorial series is going to use a patcher framework called BuponX. You might have heard about it already when using other people's mods but I'm going to show you how you can use it to create your own mods. You will need a basic understanding about C Sharp or coding in general, I mean you can just copy my code but you will not learn anything in doing so. So please don't, this series is going to teach you about loading mono behavior scripts into Unity games and how to patch methods, but this episode is just going to be about setting the project up and getting started, please leave feedback down below on what you want to see in the next episode. So, let's get started. You will have to get a program called Visual Studio in case you don't already have it, it's a completely free program by Microsoft that lets you just compile your code into a lot of different things and other stuff, it's literally a must so go get it, I will link it in the description. So let's start by making a .NET class library in C Sharp. You can name it to whatever you want but I'll name it to YouTube Tutorial Mod. So when we have made the project we need to reference a couple of DLLS, just reference the same DLLS as I do. I'm taking for granted that you have already installed Bepinix though so if you haven't, go do that. There's countless of tutorials on YouTube how to do so. These DLLS will grant you the ability to make mods. First of all, we need to import all the necessary things. Then we need to define the mods identifier, name and version. Here's a brief explanation of them. After that we need to convert this class to a simple plugin. We feed it the identifier, name and version. Then we need to define a wake function. AKA the code that runs at the start of the game. In that function we instantiate an object called temp and then add the class main class to it. We haven't made the class yet but that's the next step. Now you need to convert this class into a base unity plugin. Now we need to create a new class. Name it to exactly main class like I've done here. Now remove all the imports and only import the Unity Engine library. Convert the class to a mono behavior class. Read up on Unity if you don't know what that means. Now create a start class. It's a predefined class from the mono behavior type. Here's a brief explanation from the Unity documentation. Then add a debug message. It just says hello. 
Now build the project into a DLL file so we can add it into the BepinX plugins folder. It will spew out a path to the mod. So copy it and paste it into the explorer, without the .dll part of course. Your mod will be somewhere in this folder, you need to find it, it will be the name of the project. Now copy your mod into the plugins folder inside the BEP index one. These folders are located in your local Gorilla Tag files. All the mod does so far is print the message hello into the console at the start but it's a really great start in your modding journey. And we will add more useful stuff in the next episode so don't forget to comment what you want to see be added. Now we can start up the game like normal and if you look closely at the console, there should be a hello message somewhere in there. That was everything for today. Please like the video if you want to see more and also don't forget to comment down below what you would want to see be done in the next episode. Have a great one. Peace.